mother. Latimer was just an anonymous donor. Well, yeah, but without Mr. Latimer's donation, the child in question wouldn't exist. Now you're thinking like a lawyer. Yes, Miss Woods? Mr. Huntington makes an excellent point. But did the defendant keep a lock of every donation for me to his life? Interesting. Why do you ask? Well, unless the defendant tried to contact every encounter to see if the child resulted from those unions, he really has no clue to claim over the child whatsoever. Why now? Why this donation? I see your point. And by Mr. Huntington's standards, all donations where the contribution was clearly not seeking an egg could be called reckless abandonment.